Hello everyone. In this video lecture, I want to discuss about heat transfer by free convection. I want to solve this problem in the console. Uh, this is our actual problem statement. Here, we have fluid flow, flowing through the space between heat rods. And heat rods are at the temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. Due to the density difference, the water flows from top to bottom. Since there is no variation in velocity and temperature in the x direction, I am going to convert this three dimensional problem into two dimensional problem. You can look at here the space between the data lines are space between the rods. The fluid flow in here and going out here on the path of fluid flow, there is a space occupied by the hot rods. In this problem statement, there is a symmetry lies. I am going to divide the geometry again at the center point of the my space and this is going to be symmetry from this boundary as well as symmetry from this boundary. To solve this problem, let us open the console. Now console is opened, click on model z, select two dimensional. Under fluid flow, let me click on single phase flow, expand single phase flow and click laminar flow, add, minimize fluid flow, then under heat transfer. Let us select heat transfer in fluid add. Then click on study. Under general studies, click stationary study since we are going to solve a problem and study state. Now let us define our parameter first. Parameter already saved your parameters in a text file. Now let us load the parameter. Click on load files and I just saved a parameter in the text. You can do it same manner. Velocity in that is the velocity at the bottom is given as pi mm per second and p in the temperature of fluid that is the water entering is given as 20 degrees Celsius and the temperature of the heat rod is given as 50 degrees Celsius. After defining the parameter, I want to define another thing that is geometry first let me select geometry first let me define the space between the heat rods that is a rectangle shape right click on the right on the geometry and select rectangle <coughs> and this space that is width going to be 0 0.005 and the height will be 0 0.5 Zero four, and click on build all all objects. Then we need to draw or exclude a space in the rectangle that is this semicircle. For that, I'm going to draw a, a circle first. Right click on the geometry, select circle, and the circle diameter or radius is. 0 0.0025 and this circle located in the base of the x axis. Let me give the location 0 0.015. Click on build all objects. Now I need to exclude this space in the rectangle shape. For that, I'm going to click on geometry, Boolean, and partition. Under the difference, object to add, select rectangle, object to subtract, click on this icon and select circle. No need to do anything on that, just build all objects. Now we have created geometry because the fluid land for the fluid land for flow through this space. So I subtracted 
is free from the rectangle space where I have the space between the uh, heat tubes. Now our geometry part is over. Now in addition to that, I'm going to define a parameter. That is, I'm going to take the average temperature of this boundary for that. Let me right click on the definition and click on non-local coupling. Let me select average. And I need to select the boundary. Let me select boundary here. Then let me select this boundary and let me give this name as average out. Okay. Then I need to define a parameter. The parameter is nothing but I want to study the temperature difference between the T in and T out. And that I'm going to define delta T. Again, click on definition right click on definition click on variable scroll down click on load files i saved a parameter in the variable dot txt file so i just defined average out t minus t in so that is nothing but average temperature of this boundary minus temperature of the inlet it is in kelvin that is defined as del t now we defined our parameter variables as well as the geometry. Now let us minimize these things. Now let us go to the physics of, of system. Let me go to the laminar flow, then click on physics and click the boundary. As I said, there is a symmetry in our problem. Let me select symmetry. Uh, this boundary and this boundary and this boundary so are symmetry. So I select 135. Then let me define my inlet. Click on boundary. Inlet. My inlet should be the boundary here. And I, as I have to give either velocity or pressure, let me give the velocity here. Velocity I'll be given that is V in. I given the velocity. Then let me define my outlet as well. My outlet will be selected from here. Then it is my outlet. I select it. And we no, no need to mention any property at the outlet. And let me define my initial values of my system. It is already given by default here. So initial value, value let me give the pressure. I no need to mention the velocity here. Let me mention the pressure. So here, SP of mean single phase flow, rho reference will be taken from the reference temperature, which is given default in the console itself. And G suffix constant, it is the gravity constant. Since of pressure ranges from this position to this position due to the static pressure, I just given 0 0.04 minus Y. Since the maximum height of this is 0 0.04 and here let me assume pressure, pressure is 0 here it is the maximum pressure now we have given the initial value uh, if you just look at on the laminar flow we may manually activate include the gravity but here I'm, i will not do that but i will give it manually for that i'm going to click on domain and i'm going to include that volume force under volume force I already assumed that there is no variation in the x direction. So I'm going to give my volume force it is an opposite direction of y. So I just here I put minus here and this term won't appear there. Yeah. And it is not a reference density, it should be density which is changes with respect, with respect to position. Yeah, job is done here. Then we need to select the domain here. I select the domain, then there is no error message from the console. Then click on laminar flow. Click on advanced settings. Here, automatic from uh, use pseudo time stripping for station equation form. Let us on. That will help us in the convergence. 
done. Under physics, click on multi physics coupling and click on non thermal flow. You can look at here. Add normal isothermal flow, multi physics coupling. Now to simulate fluid flow where the fluid properties depend on temperature. So here density and viscosity changes with respect to temperature. So I have to activate this one. I click on that. Then let me click on heat transfer fluids. Let me now define similarly symmetries boundary symmetry similar to lambda flow we, to, we need to select symmetry here here and here then we need to define temperatures again boundaries temperature here we know the inlet temperature that is T in And we know the outlet temperature. Again, click on boundary. Click on temperature. Yeah. That is my boundary. Outlet is not outlet temperature, it is the surface temperature of rod. So that is nothing but heat. T, sorry. T suffix heat. Yeah, we define. Three different temperature. Now let us select outflow boundary. My outflow will be here. Already we have selected symmetry. Then my inlet. Let me select my inlet boundary inflow. And we know that the in is. T suffix. We selected initial values, initial values. Uh, let me take initial value as T. This is assumed as 20 degrees Celsius. Now click on, I think everything is okay here. There is no issue. Now click on miss. Now click on build miss. The default missing happened to the our geometry. That is done. Now click on study and click on compute. Yeah, uh, we got the error since we not defined the material. Uh, further, let me select material, add component, material, add material, water. Water liquid. My entire geometry, the space is a water. I have selected. Now click on study, click on compute. Now I think everything will work fine. Yeah, our solution converged. I am interested on the temperature. Click on temperature, right click. Let me click RO surface. And let me select the point size as 10. And then let me select 
the color as white yeah you can select white yeah then click on that yeah that is the temperature RO here the maximum temperature is 320 degrees celsius which we know that the hard rod is at 50 degrees celsius you can notice that near the hard rod the high in temperature as water decreases the temperature decreases let us calculate what is the change in temperature from enter uh, that is the inlet and the outlet for that let me click on results under numerical let us click on global evolution evaluation and i am going to select my parameter that that we defined that under parameter that is definition and there is a variable that is a del t yeah now we have del t now click on evaluate and we can see that there is a uh, three degrees uh, three kelvin rise in temperature from inlet to outlet and let me check whether uh, yeah uh, i am i'm getting three degree kelvin uh, let me check see another thing that is let, let me click on laminar flow on the laminar flow let me click on uh, weekly compressible compressible flow let us select what let us see what will happen again click on study compute It is converging. Yeah. Now again, let us evaluate the del T. Let me come to the yeah global evaluation. Evaluate, and you can notice that the temperature rises only one degree Kelvin. So we can observe the difference between when we select compressible and weekly compressible thank you for watching the video thank you